Okay, let's go ahead and look at this second problem. Uh, this second problem uh, is essentially a density problem. Um, what we're doing is comparing physical properties here. So, uh, if the physical property of density is essentially equivalent to the known physical property of a particular piece of wood, in this case, um, oak if it's around 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter and pine if it's around 0.4 grams per cubic centimeter, then you can identify what piece of uh, wood you have. Um, so essentially this is converting from one density unit to another because remember density is uh, mass divided by volume and what we're looking for is grams per cubic centimeter, of course, which is mass divided by volume, but pounds is mass and gallons is volume. So you have a mass to volume ratio there. So we're just trying to convert that mass to volume ratio to another mass to volume ratio. And in order to convert anything, as you know by now, you need a set of conversion factors, which I put up at the top of the page there. So you can see there's five of them that you actually need for this problem. And uh, you just go ahead and convert each one of them successively. So what I uh, converted first was the mass units from pounds to kilograms, and then from kilograms to grams. And I stopped there because, of course, that's the units that I wanted. I wanted grams per cubic centimeter. And that right now I'm in grams per gallon. So that's not what we want, the volume unit at, at least. So let's go ahead and convert uh, gallons to liters. So using that uh, next conversion factor over, and that cancels out gallons. We still have liters, so we're going to convert that to milliliters. And then, of course, lastly, we're going to use the last conversion factor to cancel out our mils and uh, get cubic centimeters. Uh, now I'm putting that to 0 0.88 grams per cubic centimeter, the answer to two significant digits, because the volume is in two significant digits, the given volume. And remember, you always want to go to the uh, number of sig figs of the given uh, numbers. And uh, we see that when we compare our density that we found, that we've calculated, to the known densities, it compares very nicely to the density of oak. So we can essentially say that we have a piece of oak here. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any issues.